This is Mission Control Houston here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. A team of flight controllers is uh, watching over systems aboard the uh, or orbiting complex with uh, Expedition 37 crew on board as they await the September 25th launch and arrival of three new crew members to augment uh, the, their own crew. Fyodor Yurchikin, Luca Parmitano, and Karen Nyberg practiced robotics ahead of their new cargo spacecraft, the G. David Lowe Cygnus, which is scheduled to arrive early Sunday morning with 1,300 pounds of cargo. Following its launch Wednesday morning from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility, along the eastern shore of Virginia. The Cygnus has performed near flawlessly in its checkouts and maneuvers en route to the station. The rendezvous activities begin early Sunday, and NASA TV will cover the final hours of approach, grapple, and berthing to the station's Harmony Node 2 Earth-facing docking port. This week, Parmitano, who will operate the Canadarm 2 robotic arm from the cupola, and Nyberg trained and refreshed on all the procedures ahead of the capture, which will occur once Cygnus is within reach at a distance of 35 feet. Cygnus represents the culmination of many years of work to supplement the cargo delivery capability to the station with commercial customers, and with arrival, Orbital Sciences Corporation with, will join SpaceX along with Russia's Progress, European Space Agency's ATV and Japan's HTV in maintaining the outpost with supplies, hardware, experiments, and logistics on a consistent basis. The launch from Virginia was the first station U.S. mission beginning from a location other than Florida. The three crew members uh, on board also are eagerly anticipating the arrival of the Expedition 37 and 38 crew which now is at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan awaiting their launch next Wednesday, September 25th. Oleg Kotov, Sergei Ryazansky, and Michael Hopkins launch at 3.58 p.m. Central Time and arrive four orbits later at about 9.48 p.m. With everything else going on, the crew also conducted science investigations focusing on human research, Nyberg and Parmitano served as doctor and patient, gathering urine and blood samples for preservation in the high-tech freezer on board for later analysis by investigators on the ground to help understand how different crew members adapt to space travel over long periods. The two also performed eye exams on each other to measure any changes that may occur in eye pressure and visual acuity. The crew will set up cameras and equipment needed in the robotic workstation ahead of Sunday's Cygnus arrival and have some off-duty time Saturday before Sunday's full day supporting the cargo vehicle's arrival following its launch atop an Antares rocket Wednesday. Next week, the crew will spend a good deal of time unloading Cygnus and continuing science investigations.